tyres. Pretty much they all look the same, but they vary considerably in price. Is it worth spending the extra, or should you save your cash? We're about to find out. Which of the tyres did best in our brake test? The Michelin Pilot Sport 3 had the shortest stopping distance, not just in the dry, but also in the wet. At £70 each, they're the most expensive in our test. For all four corners, they'll cost you £128 more than the Sunyu. These weren't too bad in the dry, but in the wet, stopping distances were 22.9 metres longer than with the Michelin, enough to sail past an extra five Ford Focus hatchbacks. It's in the wet where the differences between all tyres is the most noticeable. The Michelin tyres also gave us the highest lateral grip figure of 0.8 G. The Sunyu and Next Cheapest Ovation recorded the two worst results of 0.64 and 0.73. If you're after a quiet time of it, however, the Sunyus did prove to be the best with a reading of 69 decibels, beating the Lauda's Goodyear option by 4 decibels. Continental's Conti Premium Contact 2 and the Michelin weren't that much noisier, however. And when you consider their superior braking and cornering performance, we reckon they're a better bet. Tyres are the only part of your car that are in contact with the road, so rather than cutting corners with budget tyres, we'd recommend shopping around for the best prices on a decent set.